It is July the 3rd, 1863, here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This will be a battle to change all battles. Pickett's chart will happen out there. This is George, and this is the Weekend Travels 150th anniversary to the Battle of Gettysburg special. It is July the 3rd, 1863, here in Gettysburg, the final day of fighting. Fighting will take place East Cemetery Hill, Culp's Hill, and out here behind me where the famous Pickett's Charge will take place on the afternoon of July the 3rd. But here in Gettysburg, it is 160th anniversary. So let's see what July the 3rd has to offer. On July 3rd, 1863, Union troops repelled a massive artillery assault on Cemetery Ridge during the third day of the Battle of Gettysburg. During the early morning hours, Confederate General Robert E. Lee orders General Longstreet to prepare General Pickett's troops for the assault. Here in Gettysburg, 2023, the 160th anniversary is marking its last day as celebrations, remembrance, and reenactments are happening all over. And it was at this location at 8.30 on the morning of July the 3rd, Gettysburg's only civilian casualty, Jenny Wade, will be shot and killed. A Confederate sharpshooter will shoot a bullet and it will enter through two doors, killing Jenny instantly as she was kneading dough for the Union soldiers. Jenny Wade will eventually be buried at the Evergreen Cemetery, where you can visit her today. She is only one of two women in America to have a perpetual flag, with the second being Betsy Ross of Philadelphia. So every year I come honor the death of Jenny Wade and I leave her flowers. This is the anniversary to Jenny's passing, um, July the 3rd, 1863, being the only civilian shot and killed during the Battle of Gettysburg. We leave the Evergreen Cemetery to head over to Lee's headquarters or the Mary Thompson House. So we're at the location of General Lee's headquarters. Now, for those that know a little bit of Gettysburg history, let's take a gander, shall we? Now, does anyone remember what used to be here? There used to be a hotel back here. This used to be ABC, Appalachian Brewing Company, in front of us. But as history says, they think Lee would have uh, stayed in a tent there across the street. Located on the Chambersburg Pike, on top of Seminary Ridge. This four acre property was the headquarters site of General Robert E. Lee during the Battle of Gettysburg. The site includes a small stone house, which at the time of the battle was the home of 69 year old widow Mary Thompson. 
the house has been rebuilt to resemble its original appearance as it would have looked in 1863 and is open for tours certain days out of the year. To find out more information about the Mary Thompson House, you can visit the American Battlefield Trust at the website address below. Now, what is a 160th anniversary here in Gettysburg without a cannon firing demonstration by an encampment of Confederates? We leave the confines of Lee's headquarters and drive north of town to a cemetery long forgotten. The old Almshouse Cemetery. It sits within the Gettysburg National Military Park and is where many are buried from the old county almshouse complex, which was for sheltering the poor and the mentally ill. It stood at the vicinity at the time of the battle in 1863, and it is also where Jenny Wade's father, James Wade, will be admitted and he will die. The grave markers are rather simple as it was a cemetery for the poor. It is also the resting place of those who could not be identified, and if you look around long enough, you will find some graves with modern dates. It is now mid-afternoon as we head over to the angle to get ready for what some call the March Across Pickett's Charge. Every anniversary on July the 3rd, many men brave the hot temperatures in their wool uniforms to make the trek across Pickett's Field, just like the soldiers did oh so long ago. Mm. Oh, there's Lee.
We end our day with a visit to one of my favorite places for beer and food, the Appalachian Brewing Company, located on Steinware Avenue in the heart of the tourist district. To find out more information about ABC, make sure to watch a very special 160th anniversary episode of Food Travels tomorrow over at PND Studios. Link will be in the about section below. So it is the end of July the 3rd here in Gettysburg. Battles have been won. Heavy losses have been taken, especially by the Confederacy. It's now going to be a day of rest because they lost Pickett's Charge and here the Battle of Gettysburg. This will be what changes the war ultimately for Union victory to win the Civil War. July the 4th, right around the corner. Day of celebration, the signing of the Declaration, but for the citizens and for the soldiers, it's now time to pick up the pieces and pick up their dead. This is George here for Weekend Travels. Happy travels, till next week.